Oh, jeez. Oh, boy. Oh, no. <laughs> Perfect, we're done. Today we're gonna try to make a song in Beatbox. I've never used it before, and I don't know what to expect. It looks interesting. I know the general idea of like, this is, this is kind of a piano roll, right? It seems to be pattern-based, which, you know, points off for even remotely resembling FL Studio. I want to see what kind of instruments they have in here. Right now it's set to easy. Oh, so they have easy happy, which I'm guessing is a major scale. Oh, it's a major pentatonic scale, even simpler. Uh, and then a, a minor pentatonic, I'm guessing. Island, let's figure out what this is. That's like a, a funky alternate pentatonic scale. Expert is just full chromatic, which is probably what we're gonna be working with. As far as instrumentation goes, we've actually got a good selection here. I thought it was just gonna be like, just simple square waves and stuff. So let's, let's start with the song of our people. So let's see, we got a pulse wave, that's cool. And a full EQ filter, wow. I gotta say, this is much more advanced than I thought it would be. This is, this is pretty impressive. Pulse width, where I'm guessing I can adjust the full. That's cool. Cool, you can add like portamento between notes. That's really cool. This is a full additive synthesizer? What the heck? I take back all my expectations about this. This has some really cool, very advanced stuff in it. So this is an additive synth with like decay on it. This is really impressive. <laughs> A full FM synthesizer? I mean, this is basically a Sega Genesis chip in here at this point. That's crazy. Okay, so this is impressive. Um, and if I click and drag, I can make a slide note. Cool. Oh, geez. Oh, boy. Oh, no. <laughs> Perfect. We're done. We got it. That's it. That's the song. Well, that opens up a lot of possibilities for what we can do. So I think I'm gonna stay away from like the Genesis kind of sound. We did that just all last night on the Demaking Sonic Frontier stream. But uh, I think we can have a lot of fun with uh, like some chiptune waveform sounds. So let's grab a nice triangle wave with no attack and no release. So this should just be a quick note. Cool. Uh, I don't want any vibrato on it because this is gonna be our bass. I'm gonna take away that low pass filter. There we go. And how about the tempo? Can I change the, oh yeah, here we go. I like something fast. Let's go for uh, E minor is a cool key. How do I go down an octave? Show octave scroll bar. Let's play with this bass sound a little, see what else we can find. Okay, how about drums? What do drums look like in this? <laughs> Okay, so these are like standard chip noise, random one bit. Uh, now I can extend this. Can I, can I copy and paste? Yeah, sweet. I'm just writing like a little chord progression for this bass line. Oh no, did I ruin the, ah, undo. I wrote that over my existing pattern because I forgot that's how this works. Is there a transpose function? Like move notes down? Yeah, oh, there we go. Okay, but we'll add a drum fill on this one. I can copy and paste. Oh, I love this. This is more functional than FL Studio. Is this the max length of a song? Change song length, hey. Uh, so we're gonna make a new pattern here that adds like a little hi-hat. Okay, that works. That's kind of nice. That's cool. I hear a little uh, 
There we go. Cool, let's write a sick melody. And let's find a cool lead sound. I'm really tempted to just use a big cheesy saxophone, but I'd like to stick within like a uh, chiptune kind of sounds. We'll bend up into it. And let's get um, some vibrato on here. Ah! I'm not good with the slide notes yet. It's gonna be like vaguely Friday Night Funkin'-ish, just cause that's the style I'm kind of always in anyway. I worry that writing so much Friday Night Funkin' music has like permanently damaged my composition skills, and now I can only write Friday Night Funkin' songs. <laughs> like this little stutter note thing I do now. I just do that everywhere. If you notice, I phrase a lot of my melodies long, short, long, short, like this. It just feels more natural than just da 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 long notes nonstop. So I've been studying the Shovel Knight soundtrack a lot lately, and I'd really love to get some of the energy they have. And a lot of that comes from just these crazy leads in the background, just going like nonstop, almost like the Pokemon uh, soundtrack, the original one on the Game Boy. So we're gonna like do a little bit of that. Yeah, that's kind of cool. We're gonna copy each of these sections. Can I, if I turn off, allow adding notes not in scale, I'm curious. Yes, it moves it in scale, I love it. Okay, so we get to do super easy, quick harmony. Check this out. I just have it locked to the, the normal sad scale, which is just a natural minor scale. If I move this down two steps in there, it's mostly a good harmony. I'm gonna change a couple notes. And we're going to use that to make super quick harmony. I like it. I'm happy with that. It's getting genty. Can't help it. How fast can we make this go? There we go. That's a fill. I'm making it alternate between the two ears. That's got cool vibes. I'm enjoying this. <laughs> <laughs> what does view and song player do? Yo, what is this? Okay, let's listen to everything we got. Sick. I have fun with this. Vbox is impressive. I went into this expecting to be like totally tortured and like, yeah, the pattern stuff, it, it, it was a headache to deal with, but this was a much more capable program than I expected it to be. So I'm happy. This was fun. Thanks everyone for hanging out. Have a wonderful day and I will see you later. Bye-bye.